guys, what's up? Savior one a 4 here. Today in this video, I'll be telling you about Nifty Wall program called... Crap, what's it called again? Um, this is not supposed to be a happening. Right, Anti-Micro. Anti-Micro is a software that lets you uh, plug... If you plug controllers into your computer, this application lets you give certain functions. So I have my Xbox controller right here. And let's say I move right stick, uh, you can see that my mouse is moving around because that's what I assigned it to do right over here. Wait, I think I, I'll be right back. Okay, never mind. I was just making, I was just making sure something was working and it is luckily. So, and you can give, uh, so actually i'll just try to run through it i'm going to make a brand new program okay uh wait okay actually i'm going to create a brand new one okay so i'll have my whoops uh wires got tangled i'll have my xbox controller right here for demonstration so uh, actually, hopefully you can see it. So, let's say I want to, I'm playing the game and I want to assign W to moving the left stick up. Now, whenever I move the left stick up, it will input W. I don't really have a game to uh, show this, but um, okay, I'm going to try to get a text box up. Okay, um, just minimize this. Okay, so, wait. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and move into Google. Okay, so now if I move the left stick up, it will input W. Except I don't have any other inputs set up, so I have to set up those. So I'm going to open anti-micro again and keep, ass whoops, keep assigning buttons. If you're, let's say you're playing a game, you would probably want to assign WASD to, you would probably want to assign WASD to your left stick. And for the right stick, you would want to, uh, sorry, you would want to use it as um, the map, as map. As a mouse whoops um, then uh, for the d-pad you can insert something so let's say I was playing Minecraft yeah what let, let's say I was playing Minecraft so let's try to create something for that first of all I'm going to quickly save this as Whoops. Minecraft. Whoops, I spelled that wrong. Okay. And I'm and I spelled this wrong, so I'm going to quickly delete that. Okay, there we go. So Whoops, um, I accidentally set that to arrows. I want to set it to mouse. So that now when I move this, it will go ahead and do that. Okay, so now let's try to configure this for, let's say we're playing Minecraft. So for D-pad up, let's put F5 so it will change our camera. For right, hmm. What should we do for right? I really should have planned this out beforehand, but no. Um, needs, the controls in Minecraft aren't too complicated. Let's make it T to open chat. For left, let's make it slash to open commands. And what about for down? Hmm. 
uh, yeah, I really should have thought this through, but uh, I'm not a person to do that. How about Q so you can drop items? Left trigger. Now I'm going to uh, set this up as if I was playing Minecraft on the Xbox. So this way you can get the feeling of, let's say you've played Minecraft before on an Xbox, but, but you don't have an Xbox, so you can't really play it that way. With anti-micro, or whatever, yeah, anti-micro, um, you're able, sorry, uh, you're able to uh, get that feeling of playing on an Xbox, but it's on your PC. I know that's hard to understand, and I honestly don't blame you. Okay, so, left trigger. Trying to think of examples. So if I, I had the Minecraft controllers right in front of me, I really should have planned out this video. But the way my videos work, I just do them whenever the heck I feel like it. Okay, left. Let's try left mouse button. This can be right mouse button. Um, A can obviously be space. Wait. Okay, um... Okay, um, actually B should be Q, go away notification. Uh, that is what this should be though. Let's make it shift. D-pad, should D-pad down be shift? No, uh, right stick click should be shift. Uh, I forget what the D-pads are used for inside. Minecraft, whatever. Um, so back can be okay. We might have a lot of unassigned keys here. So left stick click should be F five. Right stick click should be shift. Left shoulder button should be uh, mouse mouse wheel up, and then. Right shoulder button should be mouse wheel down. I think that should go well. So, um, whoops. Okay. Okay, what should X be? X should definitely be E. Um, crafting is in the same menu, so. Um, now I haven't used this for too long. I literally just installed it today. So, what should, I have no idea what guy it is. I've already made one or two configurations. I still haven't figured it out. Uh, what should Y be? Hmm. Oh man, um... I need some commonly used buns in Minecraft. Oh man. Huh. I'll be right back. I'm going to look up a Minecraft PC control scheme. Okay, so I have a Minecraft control scheme over at the side now. Okay, so shift is really useful, so I guess I can assign that to Y. Let's see. Left click is attack slash destroy. Um, what's left click? Uh, right click is use item slash place blocks. So if I want it to be like Minecraft, I'm going to have to switch these. Like if I want it to be like Minecraft Xbox edition, I'm going to have to change it. Click block, WASD obviously. Base bar is jump, left shift is sneak, so left, right click stick is currently shift, so, whoops, um, whoops, okay, so of multiple shifts now, left stick, where is left stick click, left stick click uh, is going to be shift because that lets me no, um, 
there should be control so I can sprint. <laughs> oh man. Um. Okay, Q lets you drop item one to nine the top bar slot. <sighs> but I can also use the scroll wheel to do that, so that'll be okay. F. I have to assign F to some something. Let's assign it to what stuck. Um, yeah, that means I also have to press Y to shift. Uh, tab less players. Um, hmm. Okay. So, I think that should cover everything. That could be tab. D-pad though, I don't know what the heck I should use the D-pad for. Okay, maybe some of the uh, functions. Okay, this can stay F5, this can be F2, um, this can be F3. Not, that should be good. I think that should be good. Okay, draw a random smiley face for no reason. I just found this random function on my screen recorder, so. Okay, there we go. Let's close that off. Okay. Okay, and just a sec. Now I can minimize this. Actually, I'm going to open it back up. And if you have a Windows 10 like me, I just have a bunch of useless notifications I could get rid of. Whatever. Um, it'll be hidden here. Will be kind of hidden, so. Um, I'm just moving some useless things off. So that I can put, you know what, this is not a good time to do this. I just realized, but who cares? And actually, you guys probably hear this is probably super boring for you. But hey, just. Just give me a chance. Oh, cool, I can put the ABK in down here. Okay. Okay, that should be good. Okay, well, guys, um, that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, when I discovered this, um, I was really happy and impressed that uh, someone can take that someone can make a program that takes controller inputs and turns them into um, uh, computer inputs. Like, by computer inputs, I mean mouse and keyboard inputs. That that just kind of impresses me. Even though it's a small thing, just impresses me. So, as I was saying, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please like. Comment if you want more... Um, <laughs> sorry. Comment if you want more... Um, Oh, I'm so bad at this. Comment if you want more tutorials. Subscribe if you want more gaming videos of just any kind. Uh, also, comment if you uh, want to see me play a certain game or test out a certain software. Well, that's it for this video. Goodbye. <laughs> I totally just messed up. I, I, I'm so sorry. Uh, that <sighs> I am horrible at this. Everyone just... Thank you for watching. Goodbye.